What's up guys? Back once again. I know, same shirt, filming a lot of videos, same day. Um, we have, I think, it's our Patreon box from Cheap and Nerdy. I'm pretty sure it is. Not 100%. And then uh, we also have a big old trade with my dude, JJ, the man, Gloucester. He, uh, he saw I pulled a pop, or I won a pop, something like that. He was interested, took a peek at what he had had uh, had available, picked up some fun stuff for the collection, some, some, most of the stuff I think is for Jer, but she has a lot more bigger collections that have room to, to grow, if you will. So I don't know what is in here. Uh, oh, maybe it's not so much, I don't think it's the, the, the Patreon box, it could be. Uh, I'm guessing it is, it isn't, but it is, we won this. I feel like we won this. But is the Horror Pop Pin, Pocket Pop, uh, three pack. I love these three pack tins, guys. Um, I don't know why. I just really love them. Um, it is Ghostface, Chucky, and Billy. So we've got this one. We've got the, the trio of evil queens, if you will, uh, from Disney, and that's it. We're looking for more of them, so if you guys uh, come across any of them, hit me up. I'm interested. Um, but anyway, guys, even if this is my Patreon box, go check out Cheap and Nerdy. They legit. And they bring the salt every Monday morning, and they discuss the salt every Monday night. So go check them out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. They're so close to 2K, guys. Let's get it. Talking like Yo-J with the hands here. All right, let's get into the big ass box from my dude, JJ Gloucester, all the way from Georgia, Valdosta, Georgia. So all the way across the country, this box had to travel. Do, 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 do. Open says me. Dude, JJ knows how to pack, you guys. So that was a big ass box. And then there's another box inside. It's got, uh, ha! Larry sent JJ something apparently, cause this, <laughs> this was a box that was uh, sent to JJ from Larry. So, and JJ, being the recycling man that he is, I'm gonna try to do this without showing off everybody's address. Um, I think it was six pops in total. Yeah, it was. JJ even hooked it up with the protectors, guys. So, first thing, we'll go over the one thing that was for me out of this entire train first. And it is the werewolf from Scooby-Doo. The Funko Shop exclusive werewolf. Um, he said there was some damage on all of these, sent me pictures of it. I'm not too worried about it. JJ, I feel like is a little harsh on his grading. But that's okay as a collector. It's okay if you want a great harsh, man. I think this pop looks fan freaking tastic. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Second Scooby Doo pop. Can't wait to add more to the collection. Looking for, you know, the creeper. Can't afford it right now. Maybe later. Creeper! Anyway, gotta get that out of my system. Next up, uh, from some of our Bands for Arms boxes, we pulled uh, Dory from Finding Dory. Oh, uh, yeah, from Finding Dory. There's only one other pop in the set from Finding Normie. Finding Normie. Find, finding Dory. And that's Hank. Hank the Octopus. With his frickin' uh, coffee pot. So, we've completed the set. Yay! <laughs> but still, no thanks, JJ. You just happened to have this. That worked out great, dude. Fantastic. Um, next up is uh, another Disney uh, pop. This uh, I wasn't able to get when it came out, but it is Yzma as Cat. Uh, this was San Diego Comic-Con 2020. I believe this was an FYE exclusive. Uh, yeah, so Jared really likes the Emperor's New Groove, so I kind of had to pick it up. Uh, we've only gotten, I think, two pops from the set so far. We've got uh, Yzma as the Cat, Cusco as the Llama, um, and I think I have regular Cusco on the way. Maybe. So... I'm not sure how many different variants there are, but there's the base set, guys. Yzma, Kronk, Cusco, and I forget the uh, Pacha. So there we go, guys. All right. 
Then we get to Teen Titans, which is a new one. That's a new thing for Jer and me. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. But this is the OG Cyborg, the first one uh, from the Teen Titans Go line. There's Cyborg. Um, I think this one was the worst for wear out of all the pops he sent. Uh, he said, so he gave it a 7.5. See, I'm terrible at grading things because I would give this like an 8. There's, there's 8 pops total. There's 5. For the group. Oh, there's 8? There's 8 total. There's 8 total. So there's a variant for each of them? Or how many Yzmas are there? There's the Yzmas, Cat, both. And then Yzma. Both stickers. Oh, you're counting both stickers. Stickers. Okay. Let's go as llama. Yep. Regular Isma. Yep. Pronk. Yep. Pacha. Yep. Glow in the dark Isma. Ooh, okay. And then Kuzco as a human. Yep. All right. But yeah, guys, there's a lot of Teens Titans Go pops out there. There's a ton of different color variations of Raven. We got the glow in the dark Raven, which kind of started this off, and then uh, our buddy Smitty. Just happened to have some extras, floated them our way. Thanks again, Smitty. Really appreciating that, launching the collection into what it is now. Um, but yeah, guys, these were these were early on television pops. Robin started off at 107 through 111 Starfire. So yeah, guys, Cyborg. Uh, next up is Harry Potter. She only collects the Beast. This one is, like, I would say controversy, uh, whether it's a Beast or a human, but it is Remus Lupin as werewolf hot topic exclusive it's kind of both it is both but it because it is a werewolf i was like you know what we have serious as a dog so we do have serious as a dog so we might as well get remus lupin as the werewolf cool looking pop creepy ass looking pop uh you can't really i don't know if you guys can you guys can see it better than i can to be honest with the light there but there it is uh remus lupin as werewolf we'll add it to the harry potter wall like i said she only collects beasts um we've got a couple other ones that are just uh one couple gifts stuff like that so we'll keep that but uh only anything that has to do with beasts i think even like hermione granger as the cat or uh mcgonagall in her cat form as well would be perfectly acceptable to add to the collection and then last but not least is a batman it is an 80 years batman which Jerrica is almost completed after getting her pink chrome Batman. If you guys have seen that video or not yet, if it's come out yet or not, I don't know. But now you know. Bam! It is Batman San Diego Comic-Con 2019 holding the San Diego Comic-Con loot bag. Um, it is the shared exclusive. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was shared with the Funko Shop. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, thanks, JJ, so much, dude, for the trade. Technically, You're amazing. What? I think so. We don't count. No, we're missing the other sticker. If you don't count the sticker variants. Yeah, we're only missing one. Um, it's the braced. It's a weird one. It's like 40 bucks. Um, anyway, guys, battery's dying. Filming a lot today. Appreciate you all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye.